So hello and welcome to another episode of NVC Talks Tier 2. This is number 3, or number 4 if you take my episode 0 or the pilot episode as an official episode. I don't, and I'll probably redo it. So this is episode 3, and uh, you'll also see I've got a new splash screen or an intro screen. This is still captured live, guys, so it's going to be raw and unedited, but I've just increased uh, the production value a little bit. But I'm not going to the extent that I'm going to be editing post-production because these are what they are, which are small, quick tips and tricks for Team Fortress 2, um, pushes, defensive holds, whatever. So, jumping into the game today, we're going to be talking about attacking this point here. Obviously in the game now we've already got it, but uh, assuming we haven't, um, we're going to be pushing for choke. Now, maybe we've just camped middle, uh, maybe they've only got four people, they're going to have people spawn in. Um, the main theory behind this push is that you can force them back. I'm not going to tell you how you can force them back. You may need to just buff the soldier and uh, maybe get a pick and then fall back and come back in. Or maybe you know they've already fallen back and you can get round to here free. I don't know. What I do know is you're going to be pushing through a roaming soldier and a scout through a house, giving your presence known to any scouts here. And uh, end goal is to come through this door here. We'll leave a scout here who is watching here and here. The other roaming soldier will be going to here. The uh, pocket soldier medic demo man will be coming through either from a buff soldier jump or whatever. Pocket soldier here, uh, medic waiting here. Demo man going wherever he wants, maybe onto the point. Again, we'll discuss that in a minute. With the scout coming behind, now the scout coming behind, uh, just because of any sickers, we need to keep him alive because this is the guy that's going onto the point. But either way, getting to position now for this video. Tab into my program and let's get this started. So. Assuming we've pushed round okay, we're going to be ending up with a medic on the sp on uh, Pride Rock here. We're going to have the uh, pocket soldier here, maybe the Roma here. Um, these guys are going to be alternating. The best way I can just show it is like this. Um, this medic watching behind, um, just making sure no scouts come. Uh, I'll explain in a second. Meanwhile, we have the scout who's pushed all the way around and is also on the point. Um, if anyone gets low, they fall back to the medic. What is important, though, is in my opinion, the medic doesn't push here until the point is 66% capped. Because if he pushes before that, falling back. Uh, for a back cap, it's going to be very confusing because people are like, oh my god, we're only 40% capped, we, we can probably do this. Whereas if we're 66% capped, it means we're probably going to get it. And uh, GG. Um, meanwhile, we have the other scout here. Now this scout is obviously watching into house, as I said, and he's watching downhill. Now, he's not watching behind, the medic's got that, but what's important is because we're not pushing into 66%, the entire team can fall back to stop a back cap happening or to support with scouts behind. Obviously this yellow scout can drop down. One of the soldiers could uh, fall back to support anything going on here. Um, alternatively maybe one of their scouts pushes up toward the spire and the scout can drop here. Or the scout could even come down here because remember if I get rid of all of this and just have the yellow dot there, their enemy team could be pushing here, they could come around here, um, they could come onto the point and then drop down, they could even push around here. So having your yellow scout here is not harming your team, um, but it does mean you've got everything covered. Uh, it's better to have a scout there than a soldier in my opinion because having a soldier there is a waste because you don't have any real firepower, any real splash damage going down anywhere else and it's a lot more difficult to protect a medic without the rockets, um, but he is still there to support. Alternatively, you know, if this scout goes down, maybe he dies, then this scout can, you know, also go back up. Um, and then you're just going to have to call that the little door isn't watched. Or if you see two scouts, so you see one scout there and another scout on there from the enemy team, this guy here probably isn't required, in which case, you know, he can do as appropriately. But either way, the main focus of this quick video is just to explain the importance of this guy here drawing whatever the rest of your team are doing and um, I'll show you exactly how it's going to work. So we're here, we're not really moving from here so 
this guy is watching here and he's watching here and as you can see you can see quite a lot so if you see an enemy enemy guy push up here it's quite easy for the scout to move and support him um, if you see someone here I stress I have to stress pushing to kill him is a big no because there could be two scouts there or you could die because you remember you got a health pack so pushing here is a very bad idea because that scout can get the health pack before you can so uh, that's kind of why I hate any scouts pushing there that's why I prefer the scout to be here because they've also got a resupply back there as well as this health pack so it doesn't matter where you send you don't have an advantage over their players so keeping the guy here allows you to see the scout you could then fall back call for a soldier support because you are alternating your soldiers on the point or you could just fall back and wait you know if both scouts decide to go back cap because we've said this point isn't being capped until you're not moving toward the side of spire until around 66 percent you know you're going to have teams to support you and uh, if they do start back up and you're 66 percent it's still probably likely that you could cap the point before they can back cap so 66 percent in my opinion is the magic value um, as to when you need to push spire and when you don't have to worry so much about a back cap but uh, again this is a tactic for the scout and uh, i hope any scouts watching this or any teams watching it may try the strategy because in, it is pretty good in my opinion and uh, providing you just keep an eye on behind you in case any scouts do rush behind and this scout doesn't see because they went all the way through canyon you'll be fine and um, just make sure you've always got a soldier with a medic but uh, thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video and Stay tuned for more. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'll try and update new videos on there. Or just subscribe on YouTube. And uh, I appreciate it. Thanks very much.